People in California tonight being told to prepare for another possible earthquake. More than 3,000 aftershocks have rattled that state so far. The strongest quake was a magnitude 7.1 on Friday night. It cracked open highways and knocked homes off their foundations. City leaders are urging people to stock up on canned goods and water in case a more powerful earthquake happens there. Meanwhile, Indiana sits on two major fault lines, which means an earthquake here is a very real possibility. In fact, we have had them in the past, and our Alan Carter spoke with a professor at IU about the likelihood of another. You can hear from the people who went through it. Okay, babe, just be careful. Babe. They want no part of an earthquake again. Um, man, man cry too, bro, but you know what? This was, this was a really bad one, bro, you know? They come without warning. Oh, my God. And seeing the power of what a 7.1 magnitude can do. We all just grabbed each other and fell to the ground. And makes a lot of people every place else think, thank goodness that's over there. But a warning for Hoosiers not to get too comfortable. Wayne Township Fire saying it's not a question of if, but when, because Indiana is in or near two major seismic zones, the Wabash Valley and New Madrid. Here's one 1987, there's, some, there's one 2002. Dr. Gary Pavlis is a seismologist at IU and says earthquakes, even sizable ones, do happen in Indiana. We get a fairly strong magnitude five scale earthquake every about every ten years. Um, you know those happen all the time in California. Now those happen quite frequently in California, and Pavlis says seeing a really big one here is nowhere near as likely. Well, the chances of seeing a significant earthquake of a particular size in Indiana is somewhere between fifty to a hundred times less likely. What that means as a once in a lifetime earthquake in California that you would experience is 50 lifetimes or 100 lifetimes. Not likely, but not impossible. And hard to say when one could hit. In Bloomington, Alan Carter, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.